Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve P2.51 from Hemblay's book. So given R1 is 4 ohm. Okay, let's write it here so we can see it in the circuit. So R1 is 4 ohm and then R2 is 5 ohm. R2 is 5 ohm and then R3 is 8 ohm. So R3 is 8 ohm and then R4 is 10 ohm. R4, here is it, 10 ohm, and then R5 is 2 ohm. Okay, now we have 2 ohm here, and IS is 2 ampere. So IS here is 2 ampere, and we are given this is the node voltage, so the voltage here will be 0. And solve for the node voltages, which is V1, V2, and V3 here. But first, we need to assume the direction of the current. Maybe let's assume this going down, this also going down. This goes to the right, and this is goes to the right, and this also goes to the right. But for this one, I just follow the arrow of the current source, so that, that will be going up. Okay, so we need to do KCL at V1, and then V2, and V3. So we will have three equations with three variables. Okay, let's do exactly that. The first thing that we need to do is to do KCL at V1. And KCL said the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There is no current that goes in here. So I just put zero as the current that goes in. And then the current that goes out, this is the first one, which is V1 minus zero. That is V1 divided by the resistance between them, which is 10 ohm. Okay, and then the second current that goes out is this one here, and that will be V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 5 ohm. Okay, and then lastly, we will have this part here V1 minus V3. V1 minus V3 divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. Okay, and we can multiply this by 20 to cancel out all the denominator. Okay, so on the left hand side, 0 multiplied by 20 is still 0. And we will have this 10 and 20 will cancel into 2, so we will have 2 V1. 5 and 20 will cancel into 4, so we will have 4 V1 minus 4 V2. And then 4 and 20 will cancel into 5, so we will have 5 V1 minus 5 V3. Okay, good. Now let's add them up. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 plus 5 is 11. So we will have 11 V1. And then minus 4v2. And then minus 5v3. All of that will equal to 0. And I think this is the simplest thing that we get from this KCL. And let's save this as equation number 1. Okay. Now let's do KCL at v2. Okay, now let's do KCL at V2. KCL at V2. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the current that goes into V2 is only this one here. And we will have V1 minus V2 divided by 5 as the current that goes in okay oh this current also goes in to v2 which is 2 ampere so i will have plus 2 here and the only current that goes out is this one so we will have v1 minus v3 divided by the resistance between them which is 8 okay and we can multiply both sides by 40 i think to cancel out the denominator. So we will have 5 and 40 will cancel into 8. So we will have 8 V1 minus 8 V2. Then plus 80. 
and that will equal to 5p1 minus 5p3. Okay, and let's move this to the left hand side. So I will have 3p1 and then minus 8p2 and then plus 5p3. And all of that will equal to minus 8p. And let's have this as the second equation, which is equation number 2. Okay. We have two equations and three variables. So we still need to do one more equation, which is KCL at loop V3. But our slide is full. Maybe let's clean up the board and just save equation number 1 and number 2. Okay, so far we have these two equations and we still need to do KCL at V3. Let's exactly do that. So we need KCL at loop 3. I mean KCL at node V3. KCL at node, not loop V3. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Yeah. Okay, the only current that goes out is here, but there are two currents that goes in, this one and that one. And this one is V1 minus V3 divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. And then plus, this also goes in, so I will have V2 minus V3 divided by 8. And the only current that goes out is this one. So I will have V3 minus 0, which is V3, divided by 2. Okay. Let's multiply all of this by 8. So we can cancel out the denominator. So we will have 2V1 minus 2V3. And then plus V2 minus V3. And that will equal to 4V3. Okay, so we will have 2V1 plus V2. And then we will have minus 3 minus 4. That will be minus 7V3. Okay, all of that will equal to 0. And now let's save this as equation number 3. And... Let's solve the equation. We have three equations and three variables. And the easiest way to solve this is by using calculator. Okay, let's set our calculator here. Well, let's set it as equation solver, which is number 5 here. And three variables is number 2. And now let's just plug the coefficient. We have 11 minus 4 and then minus 5. And then 0. Okay. And then we will have 3 minus 8. And then 5. And then minus 8p. Okay. And then the last equation, the third one, I will have 2. And then 1. And then minus 7. And we will have 0. Okay. Hopefully the number will good. Oh, it's not. But then I will have P1 is 7.719. Okay. P1. We will have P1 is equal to 7.719. 7 and the unit will be 4. And we will also have P2. I guess that is also not a good number. So I'll have 15.672, 15.672, and the unit will be 4, and V3, and I also guess this is not a good number, or well, quite a good number, so we'll have 4.444, and the unit here is 4. And I think we have found all the node voltages for this problem. Okay, let me know if I made any mistakes in my calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.